test was scheduled for later in the tour. Meanwhile, a limited overs match was organised, the first ever one-day international. Good morning, everyone. The ABC Sporting Service welcomes you to the Melbourne Cricket Ground. The news here is that Australia has won the toss and sent the MCC into bat. We're about to watch the first ball, which will be bowled by Mackenzie. He'll be bowling to Boycott. There is the Australian side, the two English openers, Boycott and Edrich. Mackenzie bowling to Boycott. Connolly, the fieldsman. The changes in the English side or the MCC side from the England side that was chosen for the test match, Hampshire and Fletcher come in and Luckhurst and Underwood are omitted. Runs to Edridge, off the edge down to third man. Mallet is the fieldsman as the batsmen take two. runs there and it's a good shot from Edrich. Redpath is chasing it but I think Mallet will get to it. He does. The batsmen have taken two and have turned for three. Edrich is opening the innings for the MCC in place of Luckhurst. Luckhurst was scheduled to play in the test match. He was a, a hairline decision because of an injured thumb and the MCC authorities obviously thought that it was wiser to omit Luckhurst from this game in view of the heavy program of test matches that are coming up and consequently Edrich has been raised in the batting order and two more batsmen in the persons of Fletcher and Hampshire have been brought into the uh, England side. It'll be Thompson and he'll bowl to Edrich. Mallet at mid on. Perhaps we might notice at this stage the composition of the fields that the bowlers adopt. Now, here is a wicket that has a certain degree of life in it, and one would expect the faster bowlers to have a very aggressive field. But because it is desirable to restrain the run rate, we'll notice the defensive field formation on even a lively wicket. There's that good signal again. Well run. Red path came in from the cover position very quickly, but... Uh, could not stop. Boycott and Edrich. This runs here to Boycott. Be at least two. Connolly is chasing it from the deep fine league position. The batsmen have taken two and turned for three with Connolly's return on its way back to Marsh. Well run. No wicket for 14. Australia won the toss and sent the MCC into bat. Runs here. That's Redpath chasing it. The batsmen have run two. Edrich is keen for the third, but uh, you'll see this lovely return. So two more to boycott. He's eight. Thompson bowling. Oh, and he's out. A beautiful catch. A beautiful catch just in front of square leg by Bill Laurie. Boycott attempting to hook. In fact, he did hook. He hooked very well, but uh, not quite, not into the ground soon enough. And Bill Laurie, the Australian captain, diving. Court boycott, so he's out. Here's the action replay. We'll have a look at it again. And notice this marvellous catch by Laurie, diving to his right. A great catch. Uh, oh, we'll see how Fletcher handles Thompson. Oh, and dropped. Dropped at first slip, and there's one run as well. This is Connolly bowling his second over to Edrich, and a good shot through square leg. It's a very long chase for Redpath, and he won't reach it before it goes into the boundary for four runs, and a lovely stroke off uh, Edrich's toe. Edrich moves on to 15. Umpire Rowan signalling four runs, and it's one for 31. Another good stroke by Edrich. No one in the covers and a long chase for Walters who will come into your picture in a moment. Here he is. Three runs in the meanwhile as this very fine return comes back on the first bounce to Marsh. A very long throw by Walters, about 100 yards. And Edrich is 18 with that three. One for 34 MCC. Over the top of mid-off. Coming down to long off, 
towards the boundary. This will go into the fence for four, and a good shot by Edridge. He's 24, playing very intelligently and very well for the MCC, so it's one for 41. by Chapel. Dropped by Chapel. That was not a difficult chance. Connolly to Edridge. Uppish. Past point. There's runs here. The batsmen have taken two. A long chase for Thompson from the deep third man position and the batsmen complete a comfortable three runs. Edridge. 33, Fletcher 6, one wicket for 52, and the 50 came up in 69 minutes, and that's bright scoring. <laughs> Through mid wicket, it was uppish, but safe. Walters is chasing it, the batsmen have taken two. Looking for three, perhaps, yes, they're going to go. Fletcher will have to hurry, but he's home. Fletcher 14, Edrich 41, 1 for 69, 6 extras, that was the 17th over, MCC averaging just over 4 per over, so they've lifted their run rate, Connolly has bowled 5 overs for 31 runs, 8 runs coming from that over. He's lofted him, high over the, the onside, it's going down towards the fence, a deep square leg, the batsmen have taken 2, they've turned for 3 and it's into the fence 4. I don't think this will be a catch. Yes, he is getting under it. And well caught. Well caught by Greg Chappell. At long off, going back, and uh, Fletcher is out. Out for 24. Caught by Greg Chappell off the bowling of Mallet. And that was the wicket that Bill Laurie wanted. So it's two for 87. Batsman out, Boycott for eight, and Fletcher for 24. Not out, Batsman Edrich on 47. We're not quite certain yet who the next batsman will be. It it is, in fact, it's going to be Dolla Vera. There it is. Well played, Edrich. Taken one. Coming back for two as Mackenzie Fields returns to the bowler's end. A bit wide, but Edrich is 52. MCC, two for 94. A oh, lovely stroke. This may well be four. In fact, they'll run four if it doesn't go into the fence. You'll see Walters come into, the, into your picture, but it's four runs, a lovely cover drive. And Edrich is now 56, 55, I should say, and it's two for 98. Over the top of second slip, there wasn't one there, of course, and it's four runs to Dolavera. This will be four runs. Marsh not being able to get across in time. He did well to move as far as he did. And Edrich is now 65, 2 for 120. Brilliantly fielded by Greg Chappell. He'll have to hurry back. There's an appeal and he's out. A magnificent piece of fielding by Greg Chappell falling to his left-hand side. Ian Chappell, I'm sorry, was the fieldsman, and the third wicket has fallen for 124, with Dolavera magnificently run out for 17. Here's the replay. Look at this shot. Crack. Chappell stopped it and threw it off balance. You can see the cameras were expecting that ball to go right the way through to the boundary. Indeed, so were we. But... What a glorious shot through the covers. I don't think Mallet will get to this. This will be four runs. A superb shot by Edrich. He's now 70 and the total 128. He's hit that hard and high. It's going to drop between the fieldsmen. Stackpole has slipped over. The batsmen complete two runs. There's his return and it's a good one. Hampshire into double figures. He's 10, Edrich 76, 3 for 144. That's hard and high. Mackenzie's running towards it. He may catch it. He has. It's a great catch. Well timed. Beautiful catch by Mackenzie. Deep. 
on the onside, down at mid-on. Wonderfully timed catch, and Mallet takes his second wicket. CC lose their fourth wicket for 144, with Edrich 76 not out. Here's Frank Tyson. Another very good catch to lead to the downfall of John Hampshire. And here we have a look at it again. Hampshire hits it hard and high. There it goes, into the outfield, and Mackenzie herring in. Look at this, it's a good catch. Mackenzie covered, I should say, about 20 yards to get to that ball. And here we are again with the incoming batsman, who is Colin Cowdery, vice-captain of the MCC. Very confident appeal, and Cowdery is up. Caught behind by Marsh from the bowling of Stackpole, and Colin Cowdery leaves the field. Caught Marsh, bowled Stackpole, one. Edwidge not out, 79, four for 148. Here's the action replay. A top edge, and... Cowdery aiming to square cut that ball wide of point is caught behind. And he's going to continue bowling to Ray Illingworth. It's a confident appeal for LBW, but umpire Rowan singularly unimpressed. That's bowled him. Round his legs. That bowled him. Illingworth departs. Bold stack pole, one. Six for 152, Edridge 81 not out, three quick wickets for Australia. Frank Tyson. But let's watch it again. Let's see where it pitches. He has probably just turned a fraction, I would say, pitching something like two or three inches outside the leg stump and coming around his legs. Runs there, Mackenzie the fieldsman. Hasn't picked it up cleanly. The batsmen are home comfortably for that one run. Not opens his account. He's won. Edrich 81. It's Mallet to resume, bowling to Edrich. He's lofted it high in the air. Walters is there and he's out. <laughs> and so the man of the moment departs. John Edrich. Caught Walters from the bowling of Mallet for 82. Mallet takes his third wicket for 34 runs. He's bowling his eighth and final over. And one can rest assured that Edrich will receive a splendid ovation as he leaves the Melbourne cricket ground. His has been a wonderful effort. But nevertheless, seven for 156 isn't a bad score in a 40 over match. <laughs> Well, after I say that sort of stroke, we see this lovely lofted stroke over the top of covers and into the fence for four. A lovely stroke by Knott. He goes on to nine. Seven for 162. Clean bowl. Clean bowl. That's Stack Bowl's third wicket. He's taken three for 28. And the MCC are now eight for 171. Snow out, bowl stack pole for two. To watch it again. And there it is, clean bowl. Just got past Snow's left foot to take the middle and off stump. So Snow's out for two. Mackenzie to Shuttleworth. He's lofted in the air and he's dropped. He's dropped by Laurie in the covers. The batsman went through for a single, but Laurie missed that chance. But there's runs there, and there'll be more than two, I would think. Walters has a long chase from third man. The batsmen have turned for three as he gets to the ball now. Not 24, Shuttleworth three, extras 10, eight for 182. an inside edge of the bat, it's cannon into the leg stump, and Knott is out. Clean bowl by Mackenzie for 24. Mackenzie takes his first wicket for 21 runs. That's the end of his seventh over. His figure's one for 21, five runs coming from it. MCC nine for 183. Shuttleworth not out four. The last man will be Lever. Knott leaving the field. He's lofted in the air, and I think he's out. Caught red path, 
and the MCC are all out. The MCC are all out. Shuttleworth, Court Redpath, Bold Mackenzie, seven. Lever remaining not out, four. MCC all out for 190. There are the full details on the board. It's to be Laurie taking strike to the first over to be bowled by Snow. There's umpire Brooks. Allowing Laurie to check the sightboard. A slight adjustment being made. Here's Snow. He's about to bowl the first ball of the Australian innings to Laurie. Well wide of the off stump and not diving full length to his left hand side to take that delivery and a rather belated signal by umpire Brooks. He has signaled wide, but that certainly was very, very wide indeed. And what a magnificent effort by not to. Oh, good shot. No one out there at long on. What a good shot by Stackpole. Oh, another lovely stroke. Four more, just behind square leg. Beautiful shot off his toes. Past Oliveira. Had no chance of stopping it. Oliveira fielding a wide, uh, wide fine leg. And uh, no chance whatever of stopping that ball. So it's four more to Stackpole. He's 11 and it's none for 16. No, it wasn't. Oh, Laurie could be out, run out here. Oh. Missed, he missed. All Underwood had to do was break the wicket. Laurie yards out of his crease. He missed, and there's a let off for the Australians. Out caught. Caught and bowled. Caught and bowled by Shuttleworth. Stackpole, many people thought was a half volley, but Stackpole knew it wasn't, or a bump ball, I should say. Stackpole knew it wasn't as he hit it straight back to Shuttleworth. Firmly, Shuttleworth took the ball very nonchalantly. And only the players out on the ground knew the stack pole was out. Stack pole's out. Court and Bell Shuttleworth. Here's the replay now. There it is. Very clear and a good catch. Stack pole disappointed. And the first, first Australian wicket is down for 19. Stack pole. Court and Bell Shuttleworth 13. Laurie is not out. Five. Oh, here's a lovely stroke. Straight through the covers. This will be four runs. Fletcher has no chance of stopping that one. A beautiful stroke off the ball that was not quite a half volley. A lovely stroke, played on the rise. Chapel is eight, one for 39. Runs, one, perhaps two. dolivera has got the ball. Laurie's on his way. We'll watch closely, but he's home. <laughs> two more to Laurie. He's now 24. Chapel nine, one for 48. Runs here, a good shot, it's past Snow. They've taken two, I don't think it'll reach the fence. They've taken three and they'll be content with that as Snow's return is on its way. Three to Laurie. Very confident appeal and Laurie has been given out. A very deliberate decision by umpire Rowan but Laurie has been dismissed, caught not, bold Illingworth for 27. Ian Chappell remains not out nine, one wicket for 51. Comments from Colin McDonald. Here's the, here's the replay, you'll see this catch behind. Not very interested in the umpire, but I think he, he knew very well that he'd given it a touch, and he was out foot behind off Illingworth, so Illingworth's taken his first wicket for five. Four runs. Straight over the bowler's head. Good shot. Shuttleworth to retrieve the ball for his skipper. Walters is now eight, Ian Chappell 13, two for 63. 
Beautiful shot. Pass made off, and that's four. Walters is now 12. Ian Chappell, 13. Four runs. Over Lever's head, bouncing well back from the fence. He hit that with tremendous power. Walters is now 20. He almost took that catch. He almost took that catch. That was a tremendous try by Lever. It's four runs, but a very, very fine effort by Lever. Deep on the long off position. The end of Illingworth's over. Nine runs coming from it. He's bowled four overs and taken one for 27. Walters is now 24. Ian Chappell, 19. Two for 85. That's a fine shot off his toes through mid-wicket. He's timed that beautifully. Fletcher is chasing it. I don't think he'll get to it. He won't. That was a superb shot by Walters. He's now 28. Two for 93. Ian Chappell, 23. Runs again, they'll take two. Hampshire has the ball, the return's on its way, but Chappell is home. That's good running between the wickets. The end of Snow's over. Chappell is now 29, Walters 30. Two for 101. This brings Ian Chappell uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Walters, to take strike and a lovely cut, but he's out caught behind. When I say a lovely cut, I was looking for the four runs, but he's out caught. Caught behind by not the bowling of Dolivera, and the third wicket has fallen for 117. Great uh, applause for a very good innings from uh, Doug Walters. Out for 41, caught not bowled Dolivera. That's Dolivera's first wicket taken in his fourth over. His figure's one for 17. Pass three. Chapel 38. Through for a very quick single. Chapel is home. He hesitated there for a moment, but Redpath called him through. Redpath is now four. Ian Chapel 38. Three for 126. I think this little clash between Ian Chapel and Illingworth might prove interesting. Fine shot, straight over mid on, and it's into the crowd, it's six. That was a tremendous hit by Chapel. He stepped straight into that delivery from Millingworth and crashed him over mid on for six. A magnificent shot. He's now 44, red path five. Runs there as he swept it away, backward of uh, square. Indeed, it's very fine, and into the fence for four. Dolivera to Chapel. Chapel swung him away, past square leg. It may be four. Snow is chasing it. The batsmen have taken two. It's nearing the fence. It's four. That's four over mid off. There's his 50. Ian Chappell, 53, red path 9, 3 for 146, and this has changed the game considerably. 42 runs required. And my word, the, the scene has changed over these last two overs. Runs here as he tucks it down to fine leg, giving Snow a long chase. The batsmen have taken two, nearing the fence. Snow picks it up as they take three. Redpath 12, Chapel 53, Illingworth bowling to Redpath. He's down the wicket and he's bowled. Redpath de Pass. Quite an agricultural swipe at a good length delivery from Illingworth. Australia lose their fourth wicket for 158. 
Redpath, clean bowled by Illingworth for 12. Four for 161. 30 runs required. We're watching the 30th over. MCC dismissed for 190 after losing the toss and being sent into bat. They scored those runs from 39.4 overs. This runs there as he tucks it backward and square. Hampshire is chasing it. The batsmen take a very comfortable two. He's out. He's stumped. A very, very delayed decision by umpire Tom Brooks, or Lou Rowan, should I say. A very, very slow decision. Eventually, his finger pointed to the sky, and Ian Chappell leaves the scene. Stumped not, bold Illingworth, 60. Australia, 5 for 165. Let's watch it again. There it is, and it's a very quick piece of work. A great hand for Ian Chappell as he leaves the scene with the score at five for 165. Greg Chappell not out six. The new batsman will be Marsh. Oh, good shot over square leg. This could well be four. Into the shadows. I don't think it'll be caught. No, into the fence for four. Hampshire giving up the chase. A very good shot. Chappell getting the ball on the rise, helping it on its way over square leg. He's now 10 in the total, 169 for five. Over the top of Fletcher and into the fence for four. That ball asked to be swept outside the leg stump. Marsh played it well. He's five, five for 177. That is the end of Illingworth's eighth and final over. One maiden. He bowled very well. He took three wickets for 50. Eight runs came from that over. Chapel on 13. Marsh 5. 5 for 177. 14 runs required for an Australian victory. Seven overs remain. Oh, that's safe. Safe slash, very like, very much like his brother when he's playing that stroke. It's two more to Greg Chappell. He's 16, five for 181. Ten runs required now for an Australian victory. Oh, it's through the gap. Fletcher chasing. They've run two. That's all they're going to take. Marsh was prepared for the third, but Chappell decided, well, I'll keep the strike, thank you. So that's 18 to Greg Chappell, five for 183 now. More runs, this will be another two, perhaps three. Two, I would think, as Fletcher chases. The batsmen have taken two, that's all they desire. There's a possible three had they been in a hurry. Sun in not size, but there are no overthrows. Greg Chappell, 25 for 185. It would be possible to win the match in, a, in one big hit. Oh, there's three, perhaps four. Chappell's content to have two, as it is picked up in front of the fence. Are they going to take it or are they not? They could have run three, perhaps four. They're still messing around. They'll finish up with two. Goodness only knows why, but still it was a good shot. Chapel's 22, it's five for 187. It's Lever bowling his 30, the 35th over of the innings. Four runs required for victory. I'll, very, I'll give you a brief summary of the match so far. Uh, Laurie won the toss for Australia, sent the MCC in uh, to bat. Boycott was out, caught Laurie bowl Thompson for eight. Fletcher caught Greg Chappell, bowl Mallet, 24. Dolavera run out, 17. Hampshire caught McKenzie, bowl Mallet, 10. Cowdery caught Marsh, bowl Stackpole, 1. Illingworth, bowl Stackpole, 1. Edrich caught Walters, bowl Mallet, 82, and a very good 82. That's stopped a certain four runs. Snow was bowl Stackpole for 2. Not bowled McKenzie, 24. Shuttleworth caught red path, bowled McKenzie, 7. And Lever was not out, 4. There were 10 extras. MCC, 190. The Australian batting now, Stackpole, was out.
Courtin Bowl Shuttleworth 13, Laurie Court Knot Bowl Dillingworth 27, Walters Court Knot Bowl Dolivera 41, Redpath Bowl Dillingworth 12, Ian Chapel Stump Knot Bowl Dillingworth 60. The not out batsmen at the moment are Greg Chapel on 22, Marsh batting on six. There are six extras. It is five for 187. Four runs required for victory. Here's some runs. That's four runs. Marsh 10. Australia 5 for 191. That is the end of the match. The not out batsman was Greg Chapel on 22. Levers final bowling figures 5.6 overs, none for 30. So an Australian victory by.